what is going on y'all what is going on back with another video for y'all today and y'all check this out i'm a little pissed off right now my my blood's kind of boiling i ain't one to try to complain but i'm a little irritated so pick this load up out of monticello mississippi georgia pacific dropping hook and brought it here to Georgia Pacific in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, I had a 2 a.m., sorry, not a 2 a.m., a 4 a.m. appointment. Picked it up at one, about 1 a.m. on the 8th, and then today's the 9th, and I had a 4 a.m. appointment this morning. I got here at 2 a.m., and checked in guy tells me he says well um, we're all behind right now uh, so just go park out here on the street and we'll come get you when we're ready to unload you the yard switcher will come get you it'll be a little bit I'm like okay that's fine now I noticed there was about 15 trucks out here. Didn't think nothing of it. I went in my sleeper. Figured, all right, you know. I'll hear them knock on the door when it's time. And uh, took a little nap. Well, that's a little nap turned into about eight and a half hours of sleep. I woke up. Well, it was a little bit longer than that. I woke up about 11 a.m. Still hadn't been unloaded. Still hadn't wasn't ready to unload. Them. So there's Ross parked. I'll show y'all real quick. Got another USA driver sitting here waiting. Um, most of the trucks are gone now. Um, I think there's like two more trucks in front of me at this point. Maybe some more. There's some other people behind me. I don't know if y'all can see back there or not. But I woke up, ate something real quick, and um, went in. I went in about. PM, I went over and asked what was going on. They said, oh, it's going to be a while. And I said, we have some drivers that have been here for almost two days. I'm like, you have drivers sitting out there right now that have been here for almost two days? They're like, yeah, I only really have one person to unload, so yeah, it's taking a while. Like, All right, so I called dispatch. I let them know what's going on. I got another load after this one taking me home. They're like, oh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. They come back and say, well, there's nothing we can do. You're going to have to sit there. So, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be sitting here. Like I said, at this point, I think there's about, oh, it might be, there might be another three or four trucks in front of me. It's taking an average about, two to three hours to unload each truck. So I'll probably be here till this time, until tomorrow morning. So I might lose my next load, which kind of has me pissed off. Plus sitting here, and it's just, it's got my blood boiling. I try not to complain, but, you know, if I lose my next load, I might end up showing my ass to somebody. Because it's, it's bullshit. You know, there ain't no damn reason for me to be sitting here. At this point, let's see, it's six. I'm going to do the math because I'm kind of dumb, sorry. I've been here for over 16 hours. Nothing to do. Can't leave. No bathroom nothing they even told me if I leave I, I could forfeit and then they comes time to me you know time for them to come get me and I'm not here they could forfeit my appointment and I said well, what if I gotta use the bathroom well, I don't know what to tell you I'll tell you right now I try not to, I try, try to keep it respectful 
But if it comes to a point I gotta take a shit and you guys are gonna tell me I can't leave and I can't go use y'all's bathroom, I'm gonna shit in your front yard. Cause having me sitting here, you know, two, three hours is one thing. Four hours, whatever. Sixteen hours? Some bullshit. Now, I don't wanna go off on the dude, the only guy that's allegedly back there that can unload trucks. That dude's back there working his ass off, apparently. Being the only person. And he's the one person that actually showed up to work. But what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. It's already not a good day for me. So. I don't know, but... This is ridiculous. Y'all need to get off y'all's lazy asses and come to fucking work. There ain't a damn reason for all this bullshit. I go lie, I'm a, I'm a little hot. I'm a little hot about it. I'm supposed to be getting twenty-five dollars an hour for detention pay. Now I'm sure in some way, and I'm not saying the USA will do this, I have a feeling in some way I'm going to get screwed on that. So, I guess we'll see. But, I don't know. If they try turning it into layover pay, I'm going to be pissed off. That's significantly less when you're sitting here, you know, I'm bad at math. What is that? 16 hours. That's it's about $400, ain't it? So, so I got another load. I'm supposed to be taking me home, and I'm probably gonna lose that load. So I guess we'll see. But other than that, it was a, it was a short week. I I didn't leave out till Wednesday. Um, went to the Naval Air Station down there in uh, Pensacola, Florida, which is pretty cool because uh, that's where my grandpa was stationed at when he was alive, when he was in the Air Force, and as well as that's where he's buried now. I didn't get to go find his headstone, but his place is huge. So I didn't get to go do that, but it was still cool to see and whatnot and see where he was stationed and uh, something that was a big part of his life. So um, I only met him a few times. He died when I was pretty young so oh, it was still cool to see got some cool pictures too um but man it's just lately it feels like it's been one thing after another that's why I've been making a lot of videos I've just been irritated stressed over stupid shit I guess I don't know but it's alright it's gonna get better um almost bought another rig Decided not to, decided to be a little bit smarter. And it's pretty close to having the money to buy it. It was a pretty cheap truck, too, um, especially for the condition it was in. It was in really good shape. But I was also going to try to hit a couple different birds with one stone and use the bank to get a little bit of the money for it just to like help build my credit with the bank. and and whatnot. Then I, they were still going to give me the loan, but I found out I had a lot of stuff on my credit that, you know, like little BS hospital bills, some little BS loan when I was like 18, um, a couple other little things that I didn't even know were on there, and I went and paid off a bunch of those little things, and trying to just fix my credit, make it better and whatnot, so dealing with that, um, constant reminder that bitches these days be trifling as hell, and I have to trust them. Things I trust more than um, anything a girl is going to tell me at this point. Let's see. Drink from Bill Cosby. Elevator, <laughs> elevator ride with Ray Rice. Facebook's privacy settings. I could go on. <laughs> but, it's alright. So, y'all don't come here. Don't come here to, uh, Georgia Pacific in Kansas City, Missouri. 
These people are just a joke. Like I said, 16 hours, and it looks like I still got a while, so we'll see. I'll let y'all know what happens. Like I said, my blood's already kind of boiling. I hate sitting around. My job is to drive, not sit. And dispatch tell me there's nothing they can do. Um, kind of irritates me as well. So, I guess we'll see. But I appreciate y'all watching. I did get the truck cleaned a little bit real quick. I did get the truck cleaned. Um, did lop down the dash. I got around to cleaning the floor. Um, so, I mean, that came out of it, but... I don't know. So, we'll see. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all would like, share, subscribe. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. If you have my number and you've texted me or called me, I ain't ignoring you. Um, I'm just actually the worst about doing this um, and remembering to call back or text back. Um, pretty sure I got back with everybody. But just, just know if I, if I do that, I ain't doing it intentionally. So. I appreciate y'all, and I'll get y'all later. Peace out.